Um, it's a big day for Reform UK as they gain their first ever MP and former Tory party deputy chairman Lee Anderson. Party leader Richard Tice touted his newly minted parliamentary ambassador as a champion of the Red Wall for Reform UK. And here's what Mr Anderson had to say about what he thinks our politics is currently lacking. Now I, like millions of people up and down this great country of ours, I want my country back. And today, I've took the first step into getting our country back, which is why I've joined Reform UK. Reform UK are the only political party at the moment listening to millions of people up and down the country who have become disillusioned with mainstream politics. I don't think there's any doubt uh, that he is indeed um, right when he says that people are disaffected with mainstream politics. I think that's very clear, very clear to us here at Talk TV, and very clear to anyone uh, who's been anywhere near a by-election any time recently. And I'm joined now by Reforms UK former by-election candidate, Rupert Lowe, but now current candidate. Rupert, very, very good evening to you. Welcome to the Independent Republic. Good evening, Mike. How are you? Yeah, very well indeed. Very well indeed. Exciting day today. Um, I wasn't aware that, uh, that Lee Anderson was going to do what he did. Um, a lot of people thought he wouldn't do it. But uh, now that he has done it, what do you make of it? Well, I think it's very good news for reform. Uh, I mean, obviously, we've got the, the, the sort of doom mongers who say he was paid to come, which is rubbish. Uh, he's joined of his own volition. Uh, he's made a very fine decision. We're delighted to have him. And to have an MP in Parliament is very powerful for us. Well, I don't think uh, there's know, any doubt that he, earlier, he, would, he, he wouldn't have him. come, presumably. This, had is, he... this is the document everybody should read. This is the draft working document of our policy. Uh, I think Lee must have read it, and uh, it probably swung it swung it for him. It's um, it's based on common sense. Uh, it was uh, described by Simon Heffer as Thatcherite in construct, which I thought was a great uh, a great compliment that he paid us. And it's it's a work in progress, but it's it, it's giving people their country back. It's based on common sense, and it it it, it badly needs to be implemented. So. I urge everybody, and I think now Lee's joined us, uh, we'll see another upsurge in the polls. But if people want common sense back and they want better government, it's time to vote for reform. You know, well, we've, well, we've Simon, given I mean, Simon Heffer another did... five years with the play set with an 80-seat majority, and what have they done? Uh, I would argue the square root of nothing. Right. Well, they've done worse than that, actually, because they've actually reduced their majority without really trying um, to do anything else. But presumably, um, Lee Anderson would not have joined you uh, if, in fact, he hadn't had the whip suspended from the party that he wanted to be a member of. Well, as I, as I, as I, as I say, you know, the Tories have been scoring own goals left, right and centre, to use a football analogy. And I think with, with Lee, he expressed an opinion, which I think most people would agree with, and the Tory party suspended him. Uh, it's extraordinary. And, um, you know, he's decided to, to, to come and join us. More strength to him. And we're delighted to have him in the fold. And hopefully, as I say, we'll see an upsurge in the polls, which, as you know, have been very strong for us recently. And I, I think um, if you look at a chart of our polling, uh, there's a chart breakup. So I think I think we're about to accelerate on the upside. Well, the only thing I'd say about that, and I've said this to Richard Tice many times, is that the polling always looks much better than the actual election results. All the by-elections that Reform have been in haven't been quite as successful as the polling would have suggested. I think that's, that can be right, Mike, but we did well in Wellingborough. We did well in Kingswood. Mm. Uh, Kingswood, I think, was 350th on our, of our target seats, and we got 10.4% of the vote. Wellingborough, we did very well in. I think Rochdale was, in my view, a slightly outlying result in that you got two independents who did incredibly well. Uh, and what I think it said to everybody, including what well, to me certainly is, is that actually the the sort of the two party state system that we've got is beginning to show signs of cracking. I mean, when you see George Galloway get the vote share he got and you get a very sound local candidate, mm. an independent getting the share he got, Tories, Labour, Lib Dems and us uh, relegated to pretty much 10% or under. Uh, I, I think that's the beginning of the crack in, in, in the current sort of electoral system that we've got. So I, I took heart from Rochdale. Uh, and whilst I agree with you, I do think there's a major change. And I'm getting a lot of people who are making contact with me yeah. to say they're not going to vote Tory again. Uh, the Tories have basically let everybody down. I think, you know, as I've said to you in the past, Cameron and his selection policies that were based on, uh, you know, diversity, inclusion and quotas 
have meant that the House of Commons is packed with people on both sides who are just not fit for purpose. Mm. And they're supported by a woke civil service that's completely out of control. So if people want change, Mike, they've got to vote for it. Yeah. We're, we're giving them that chance. Okay.